all through ages, prophets are God's voice of the conscience to nations. And prophetic intervention is God's age-long solution for the rescue of any nation when never besieged by principles and powers, resulting in dehumanization and destruction of lives as we have it today in Nigeria. How can a nation with an army of intelligent citizens who are imparting the nations of the world with their knowledge, be a head spread band like this country? How can the largest nation in the world be heading for perpetual slavery without people knowing it? This disturbing information came from the nation's newspaper of Tuesday, November 27, 2018, written by one of Latin Jidari, exploded with authoritative assertions, he said, claiming, among others, that the president that President Buhari had died in the UK in 2017 where he was undergoing medical treatment? How? That the entrenched cabal in Nassau Rock had procured a Buhari double in Sudan and pressed him into service as Nigerian's president? What? That representative of the Jubril family, that is the supposed imposter, having discovered the gigantic swindle, suddenly showed up in Abuja the other day and demanded to be compensated with a power sharing arrangement at the federal level in perpetuity plus 50% of Nigerians oil revenues for 10 years in the first instance. Now that was on the back page of the nations of Tuesday 27th of November. That and I quote, failing these they would tell their story to the, to the whole world. He further stated that the Nigerian authorities have entered into frantic negotiations with Jubri's family to head off what is sure to be the worst dirtiest and worst kept secret, he said. And he concluded by saying that Britain is mediating its end. So far, to my knowledge, no official statement has refuted this claim which simply implies Nigeria may truly be up for sale. The question is, has Nigeria now suddenly become a population of fools? I believe it's time to come away from our slumber and salvage this nation from slavery. If this evil tide is not dealt with quickly and decisively, Nigeria may be about to be recolonized the second time, and this time by another African country. What a shame and what a misfortune that will be, God forbid. You know, when we pray, we must be sensitive to the ongoings. If this is true, I wish it's not. But the word authoritative that the writer wrote was what caught my attention. If everything going on today, particularly this outburst from the nation's newspaper of 27th November 2018, are mere speculations, then let our president address the nation right away to clear the air. This same call has been made by two one-time leaders of this nation, President Tulushe Mubasinjo and General Abu Abubakar. 
But if the president will not address this, the nation on a subject as sensitive as this, it must have been proved beyond any iota of doubt that maybe he's not our president. On this note, we are going to rise and pray. Stand to your feet. Lord, rescue Nigeria from devastation. Deliver Nigeria from slavery. Restore the dignity of this nation. Destroy the hold of evil men on our nation. Deliver this nation from shame and reproach. Everybody pray. Pray in the spirit, pray with your understanding. Everybody pray. Deliver Nigeria from devastation. Deliver Nigeria from shame and reproach. Deliver Nigeria from slavery. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Lord, for the sake of the elect, deliver Nigeria. Deliver Nigeria today. Everybody pray. From the hands of wicked men and women, wherever they may be, Rescue Nigeria from shame and reproach. Pray for peace in Nigeria from the north to the south, the east and the west. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus precious name we have prayed. Amen. Any government of any nation will respond to this. If it were a mere accusation from Tuesday till now, I've not heard of any refuter of those claims. We are not a country of fools. If you are president, come on. I said, can you say I'm not the president? Come on. But should 175 million be fooled at a go? Judgment we answer. The God of heaven will show up. Nigeria shall be free again. We were once listed as the third largest economy. No, we are not 10 now. We are not 20. We are not 40. Sir, the last I knew was we were 80. From 3 to 80. 88. We are the largest in Africa. 
Africa, we are now 16. 16. If I mention nations whose economy are better than ours, you, you will almost cry. Overnight. Overnight. Every source of shame and reproach of this nation pays for it today. If it is true that somebody is demanding 50% of oil revenue for 10 years in the first instance, and if it's true as a foreigner, then we have lost the country. Nigerians are among the most intelligent people in the world. Wherever they are, it shows. How could we now be slaves, enslaved in our own country? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every evil behind the misfortune of Nigeria is declared judged. 